guys, before we start this week's video, I just want to quick butt in and let you know that this weekend is the North American Reptile Breeders Conference in Chicago. It's held at Tinley Park in Illinois, and I'll be there of course. There are breeders from around the country with their reptiles for sale, not to mention all the good deals on supplies you can find there too. Thousands of people attend this show, and if you're planning on being one of them, don't hesitate to flag me down if you see me. I'll be wearing the Snake Discovery shirt, so just look for the logo, it's on the back too. And I love meeting my subscribers, so don't be afraid to flag me down, say hi, I would love to meet you, and I'll probably be making some sort of video from the Tinley Show. So stay tuned for that, and in the meantime, here is this week's video. It's that time again! Two more snakes! <laughs> that I actually pursue for my breeding program, unless I find a really good deal that I can't pass up, of course. Inside are two normal looking hognose snakes, a male and a female, and what makes them special is that they are 100% het for exanthic or anery, which means they carry the exanthic trait, and when I breed them together when they get old enough, this is a younger pair, they will produce some exanthic babies. Okay, here we go. Got our styrofoam lining. Oh, they were shipped in bags. That works. I prefer delis myself, but bags will work just fine too. I feel one of them in here. Actually, it feels a little bit bigger than what I was expecting. I, was, I wasn't sure if they were going to be hatchlings or yearlings, and I think they are in fact yearlings, which is great. That means they'll be ready to breed a little bit sooner. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I see him. Hi, little cutie. Aren't you adorable? <laughs> I wonder if this is, oh, M. This is probably the male. I can look just to tell for sure. And these are 50% het ghost, which means when bred together, they may produce ghost babies. Yeah, this is definitely a boy with that length of a tail. It's got to be the male. I'm going to, not that they get them that often, but I'm going to look them over for mites quick. Look at, look underneath his chin here, which is where they usually hang out. I don't see any in that stretchy skin underneath the scales. I don't see any around his eyes. So he looks good. And ghost hognose snakes are really neat. They look like this. And again, there's a 50% chance that they are het for that. They are 100% het exanthic. He doesn't want to go back in. Inside this bag should be the little girl. Yep, F, female. I'm sure this is the girl inside. And there she is, just about just the same size as the male. Maybe a little bit smaller, and that's okay. Girls grow usually at a quicker rate than males, so she'll catch up in no time. Let's check out her tail. Oh my gosh, that is such a female tail. Here, let me get the male so I can show you side by side what I'm looking for and how I can tell that this is definitely a girl. Here they are side by side so I can show you kind of what I'm looking at to tell males versus females. With hognose snakes, it's really easy. You just look at the underside of their tail. Males have a very long tail, as you can see as on the male on the left. And females have a short squat tail. So side by side, you can definitely see the difference. Now, although they look perfectly healthy and I'm sure nothing's wrong with them, we are going to quarantine them just to be safe. So we're going to separate these two new snakes from the rest of my collection in case they're carrying something that could spread to my other snakes. They'll be separated for a couple of weeks so that I can monitor their health. For a quarantine enclosure, you're going to want to use just small, simple, easy to clean things like sterilite containers. We're going to line the bottom with paper towels instead of a burrowing substrate. And this way we can monitor their droppings on the paper towels themselves. We're also going to keep it simple by just adding a single cave in each one. Maybe a couple things for them to slither around and check out. And a rock in case they decide to shed during their quarantine. This will give them something rough to rub up against to peel that shed off. Maybe something else to crawl through, and we're going to give them water dishes. But again, you want to keep your quarantine very simple. Well, they're looking great. I'm really excited to be raising these up and producing some exanthics in the future. They are pretty small, so if anything, probably 2019 we'll be breeding them. They're still, like I said, really young, and they have a bit of time before their breeding age. But we're going to add her. Who is this? Yep, that's the female. She's going to go in here, probably go right into her cave. Yep, sure enough. 
and then we'll add our mail too. So thanks for watching and uh, thanks for unboxing these snakes with me and we'll see you next time.